Alrighty, so today I am working on an abstract piece and I am going to attempt to freehand it. So my daughter did a uh, design for me and you can't see it, it's off screen because I kind of want it to be a surprise at the end. So I'm going to try to <laughs> attempt to recreate what she has designed here. So I'm going to start with my skew. I'm using my Optima burner today and I'm going to just kind of give myself a few little markers here so I don't get too too off track and just kind of sketch out a couple of spots for me to reference okay so while I'm burning this piece I thought we'd change it up a little bit and do something a little different um, you know most of my videos are like tutorials or equipment reviews and things of that nature but I wanted to start sort of telling my story and giving you all the opportunity to tell me about yourselves as well. And I'm going to start doing this more often where I just do like an overhead burn and then we, you know, I'll pick a topic and then we can chat about it. So for the first one, I thought I would just kind of give you a little bit of my backstory. For those of you that aren't familiar of how I got started doing this because really once you learn how to do it you've learned how to do it so I want to open the channel up a little bit more to having conversations instead of me just talking at you about burning so for the first one I'm just gonna tell you my story and I would love 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 for you to tell me things about yourself that you're comfortable sharing in the comments um, and as we go through these, you know, telling story things, uh, we'll open it up a little bit more. Let's, I'm going to go all the way back to high school. So my original life plan was to go to med school. I was in high school, very good at math and science. I was very terrible at history and English. I'm still not good at it. Um, but I was good at math and science and I took extra sciences and extra maths and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted specifically to be a cardiologist. I loved the heart. I loved learning about it. I was super into it and I got accepted to this um, pre-med school in Georgia and I was moving there to go start that college and um, the night that I graduated high school we had a party it was kind of like a going away thing and my husband and I who I had known for a long time um, but he was older than me and we didn't you know we never dated uh, we were just friends and we got together the night I graduated high school and long story short I did not go to Georgia I didn't go to med school I moved to Virginia to be with my then boyfriend um, who was in the Air Force at the time and I moved there with him and we got married six months later so derailed my original life plan uh, but it was the best decision I have ever made and I still stand by it today we, we have been married for um, I don't know let me think for a second 21 years we ended up in Louisiana being stationed there and I started working at Dillard's just to you know get have some income and I worked there for a couple of years and I had my daughter took a year off and then I went back I started working at a casino just again for income because I hadn't really thought about what I wanted to do and my aunt suggested that I try graphic design because I was always an artist. I've been an artist since I was a kid, drawing, doodling, making things. It has always been um, one of my hobbies, one of my interests. And she said, why don't you look into graphic design? And at the time, I had no idea what that was. So I asked her to explain it to me. And she said, you know, that's when people like design things for for posters and for books and for greeting cards and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay, I'm, okay. So I gave, looked into it. And uh, when my daughter was a year old, I started going to college. This was um, 2005, 2006, somewhere in there. And I uh, got my degree, started my very first graphic job was at a print shop. And I was a graphic designer for 14 years before I started wood burning in uh, 2016 is when I started wood burning 
and it was just it started as a hobby and you know my husband had bought a a wood burning tool one of the walnut hollow versa tools and i didn't really have any expectations i was just like um, I have my, I have a separate website called just anycarver.com and I have a logo. It's like, you know what? I'm going to try to burn my Any Carver logo and just see what happens. Cause it's just, um, my two initials there, the A and the C. And, uh, it came out okay. I was like, you know what? I think I can, I think I can like burn images with this. I think I can do things with this. And so I hopped online and I looked at the world of wood burning, which I had never been exposed to before. And I was just blown away with um, the, the work that people do and what they're able to do with this wood burning tool. And I was like, okay, this is a thing. This is like a real thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, start playing around with this. And the first few pieces I did were like, I think I did a giraffe. I did a portrait of my daughter and they were all real simple. They were not, you know, intricate or de you know really detailed um they were super simple pieces and then um we had a friend my husband was still active duty at the time we had a friend that was um leaving he was we call it pcsing it means permanent change of station so he was leaving going to another base mm -hmm. sorry i just got a message dang it okay me turn that off so um you know my husband clay was like hey why don't you make um jim a piece he you know we could put like the years of service that he was here and we could put his favorite quote and uh, i burned an eagle into it and so we it was it turned out pretty decent i mean it wasn't like an amazing work of art but it was pretty decent and and uh we stained it and varnished it and did the things and clay was really heavy into woodworking at the time so he could make my canvases and he did like a nice i, I may be mixing this up with something else because it's been a while but um this was like six or seven years ago and he may he, he may have like framed it out or something i can't remember but um i'll try to find a picture and throw it up here and uh you know, after that, you know, people saw it. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Can you make me this? Can you make me that? And then we started doing a lot of things for like friends and family. And, you know, I had clay there that could do the wood stuff. And I'm like, hey, can you make me a canvas like this? And then I'll burn this. And, you know, we made a coffee table. And we did all kinds of stuff um, together as, as a duo. We, um, did a bunch of different kinds of art. We did some miter art. Um, we just did a bunch of different stuff. He, he had some reclaimed wood that he was framing some of my pieces with. Uh, so anyway, I started posting stuff online and things just kind of blew up. People started asking me for things. And I was posting on my personal page at the time. I hadn't created Pyrocrafters. Or, so we sat down, we brainstormed. We were like, we got to come up with a name. And I, we came up with like 30 names I think that that we really liked and Pyrocrafters was not our first choice we I don't even remember what our first choice was now at the time but um, it was taken somebody had already had that name I want to say it was something like a blaze or I don't I don't remember but I, I feel like it started with an A so it was taken and Pyrocrafters I couldn't it didn't exist it was we made it up so I bought the URL and I got the Instagram and the YouTube and I got I tried to secure the name in all the places and so then I part started posting stuff there and things just kind of grew just kind of on their own just me posting burning different things and then I started doing a lot of commission work and my business has been mostly about doing commission work up until about a year ago I decided to start switching more to um, teaching and doing you know courses and and stuff like that and 2021 was kind of a, a, a tough year for us personally and I had to take stock of what I was doing and um, what I really want to do as an artist and so late last year I decided to start shifting to doing uh, to just licensing my work I'm moving away from doing commissions 
Um, I'm moving away from doing teaching and the courses and the things um, and focusing more on the licensing. Um, I still do, you know, the thing on Tastemade where I have a live experience once a month and I throw up some tutorials occasionally, but um, it's not it's not a heavy handed course that I have to um, do a lot of like create tons and tons of content for. Um, I'm building up my licensing portfolio and I'm trying to get into licensing. It's a big shift for me to go from creating things that other people want to creating art that has mass appeal. So it's there's a, a bit of a learning curve there for me because it's a complete shift in industry and everything and kind of changing my brand and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm learning as I go and I'm building my brand and I'm, you know, I'm trying to build my, my art portfolio so that I can license it and things like that. So, um, it has been quite a, I mean, I don't even know how to, to put it into words. Like when I think back and I look back on, you know, I almost went to med school and did, did these things, but, um, you know, God, I don't even know what to say about it. I just, <laughs> I wish I had something profound and deep to say, but I, I, I guess I didn't really think too much about it. I'm, I'm not really a plan five years ahead kind of person. I never have been. And I think, um, that's why it doesn't shock me so much. Cause I've always kind of just gone with the flow it wasn't a shock that I didn't go to college and it wasn't a shock that I left, you know, a career of, of graphic design and now I'm doing this art thing full time because I kind of just go where um, things are making sense and it just, I just kind of go with the flow of things. Um, but I have, I get to create a life now that you know, I journal, try to journal every day. I don't do it every day. Sometimes I forget. But one of the first things I write down in my journal is, it's like a page of affirmations. And I write down, um, I'm creating a home and work life that inspires and motivates me. Because that is super important to me. It's super important that the work life I have and the home life I have um, be something that I want it to be and be um, a life with my family and a life of creating things that I love to create. And one of the most joyful things about this that I get to do is, is sharing with all, all of you because, uh, so many people will message me and say, you know, thank you for sharing your work. It's inspired me to do this and it's inspired me to do that. And while I didn't set out to do that it, you know I was just kind of sharing okay hey I'm gonna try this and let's see what's happened let's, let's see what happens and a lot of my YouTube channel has been that way too I didn't really have a direction I didn't really have a plan I was just like you know what I'm gonna try this today and film it and then I'm gonna put it on YouTube and we'll just kind of see what happens and uh, again I'm not a planner that much I mean I do plan my week and I try to plan a month but that's it you guys I don't plan ahead too much <laughs> and um I'm, tr I'm trying to get better about it i'm trying to get better about it I, th I think my problem is that i get bored with stuff uh but uh to get back on track here i you know receiving these messages of hey you've inspired me to try this and you've inspired me to try that um keeps me going a lot Especially when I have, am I having maybe a season of, of doubt of where I'm self doubting and you know maybe I've tried something or I'm you know trying to pitch my licensing work and I'm I'm getting some rejection and some no's and and just knowing that there are people out there that are enjoying what I'm doing and enjoying seeing what I'm making makes a huge difference in keeping me going and in times when I don't know if this is what I should continue doing because I have um like anybody else I have self-doubt and I wonder you know am I on the right path am I making the right choices am I doing the right things um but I keep going I just keep going and I haven't stopped yet 
and I haven't really found a reason to stop yet other than just the you know the demons in my head that want to um, give me a hard time sometimes but I fight back and I keep going and I keep persisting through um, what I hope is you know my ultimate goal which is now to be to just license my art structured is what I'm trying to say there's not a lot of structure there I can kind of be flexible with it but I have really, really enjoyed it. And I, I get to talk to you all about different things and answer your questions and get to know you. And there's, you know, some of you that, that comment on all of my videos and show up for all of my content. And you have no idea how much I appreciate it. I, I try to answer the comments and, and answer all these things and, and tell you how much I appreciate it. But I don't know if you know how much I really appreciate uh, when you do that, it it really fills me up and keeps me going to do these things. And one of the reasons why I want to kind of start opening things up um, here in YouTube is have an opportunity to kind of get to know some of you better and open the channel up to being more, to have, have a little bit more of a connection other than me just always talking at you about what I'm doing because... It's kind of the same thing over and over again, you know. It doesn't, once you know how to burn or you, you burn in this, you find your style and all that, it's kind of the same thing over and over. But I thought, you know what, let's, I'm going to do an overhead burn and we're just going to, um, I'm just going to chat and tell my story and hopefully you guys will share some things with me in the comments. I would love to hear more about you and, um, like I said, I'm going to do this more. I've got topics ready to go. Um, I'm going to read off. If there's any any of you that are still with me by the end of this video, let me get my post-it here. And I'm going to read some of the topics. Um, some of them are more serious, like today where we're talking about who we are and our stories. And then some of them are just kind of silly and frivolous because... Um, you know, the internet is full of heavy things and things that are hard. And I, I really want to create a space through these types of videos where we can just be silly and be fun and keep it light. Um, there's no need to talk about heavy things here. I mean, I, there are a million places on the internet talk about heavy things. But I want to create a space where we can just keep it light and kind of get to know each other through some light-hearted types of topics like for example um, I would love to talk about my top five favorite TV shows because I do binge watch a lot of uh, content on you know like Netflix Hulu stuff like that let's talk about our favorite TV shows what we like about them what we don't like about them um, first jobs I thought it would be fun to talk about you know the first kind of jobs we had and um, you know, my first job was working at a gas station and I worked there for three years and I have some stories. Um, are you introverted or extroverted? I'm so extremely introverted. I, I mean, I could easily go two weeks without ever leaving my house or speaking to another person. But, um, you know, a lot of people aren't like that. So <laughs> let's open it up. Let's talk about it a little bit. Um, let's talk about our favorite types of art. Let's talk about dreams. Let's talk about places we want to go, where we want to travel. Um, and then we can talk more about some wood burning stuff, like what are my top five favorite tools. We can talk about movies. We can talk about books. We can talk about all kinds of stuff. Um, as long as it's light and um, positive. I, d I don't want to get into you know negative comments and stuff like that and disparaging other people because we don't agree with them and, and all of that kind of stuff. I really want to keep create a place where we can talk about fun things and talk about ourselves in a fun way. There's plenty of places to go be heavy somewhere else on the internet. So um, with all that, I'm going to wrap this up and, you know, I'd love to hear more about who you are in the story, I mean, in the comments, and, um, you know, let me know how you got into wood burning, or what, what is it about wood burning that fascinates you, um, how, you know, were you new to art altogether, have you been an artist for a long time, maybe you had another medium, or maybe being creative, like a creative, artistic type of hobby is completely new to you, 
um, share share with us in the comments. Let's chat about it and hear about how we all came to this kind of craft. I would really love to know. If we pick a topic and you have a story in that particular topic, then I, I will share your story if you want me to in a video. I think it would be fun to hear other people's stories because I only have so many, right? So if you have some stories you want to share, you can email me. I'll put it in my email below. And if you are comfortable with me sharing it, um, you know, I'll give you, give the name, give your name and, and tell the story and all that kind of stuff as we burn together. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now. So here's the final finish piece. I added some color, as you can see, and I kind of played around with it even after I turned off the video because I wanted to get it um, just right. I was bothered by all the pink, so I took a lot of that pink out. Um, but I also wanted to show you the original uh, design that my daughter did compared to the finished piece. So here's the original that she designed. As you can see, it's much neater. It's much cleaner, much more together uh, than my finished piece came out. There are some, I tried to fit everything in. That was my concern. I was like, I'm going to, I know I'm going to draw something too big and it's, I'm not going to be able to fit it in. But it, it came out okay. I think I did an okay job trying to freehand it. But you can see her designs, she's so good at this. She's so talented with all these, she does like all these little bits like this, all these little graphic pieces that are just so cool and then they're also different and then when she puts them all together um, it has this really amazing abstract feel to it I really love her pieces like this so probably do this again at some point or I may just freehand my next one will just be a you know a complete freehand design of my own but um, yeah thank you guys for listening thank you for watching I really appreciate it can't wait to talk to you about the next topic